good news is the frame is now completely tore down and ready to go to the powder coaters. But first, before I took it to the powder coater, I thought I'd just do a quick episode showing you guys in detail all the areas over the last several months that I've gone through and done welding and mounted brackets onto my frame just to give you guys an idea where those different areas are, what they look like, and what I did. So um, hopefully this helps some of you out with bare frames that are wanting to weld your brackets on like I did, give you a better idea of what I did to give you some more ideas. So let's get to it. First part here, I'm going to go over my hood mounts and my radiator uh, mounts. So um, these are basically just eighth inch flat bar um, by one inch uh, thickness, or excuse me, in diameter, or width, I guess. <laughs> um, basically, these are welded on, um, and then I have holes drilled in the top of them here uh, to uh, accept the studs for the quick latches. Uh, also here, you'll see my radiator brackets mounted here, and then my lower radiator bracket mounted here. Uh, these are bent, these are the stock Exomotive brackets, but they are bent uh, to basically um, be mounted in this position. I didn't want to rivet these in. I thought it'd be a lot nicer just to weld them like an actual bracket would be. So basically um, I just modified them to mount um, how they should and then went ahead and welded them up. Here is a brake caliper, uh, excuse me, brake line bracket for the front brakes. Uh, basically right at this point here is my braided line comes in here and my um, hard line they intersect right at this bracket, and then I have uh, basically a brake clip, just the stock brake clip, uh, securing it to this mount here. So basically just another piece of uh, eighth inch flat bar, and then I drilled out the hole for the width of the, of the stainless line and welded these in in two points. Uh, also, I don't know if you can see it in the view here, but right here is a stud. This is the, uh, this is the ground stud for the head to uh, chassis ground. Uh, basically, it is grounded um, on the head by my uh, cam angle sensor, and there's a four gauge line going to the chassis right here. Here, and I did a video on this uh, for my Flying Miata front, uh, you know, plexiglass, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, sides, side panels here. I went ahead and made these little um, tabs here, much like the stock tabs down below, um, but I went ahead and made these and welded these on. Uh, basically to get the same you know look that the uh, lower mounting points have same idea there just made up some tabs and brackets instead of using the two clamps that flying Miata supplies you with this project on the car uh, the transmission tunnel uh, mine came in very bent or I wouldn't say bent but very poorly fabricated and welded in and uh, it just was completely unacceptable um, I worked it out with Kevin at Exmotive um, went ahead and had a new um, trans tunnel shipped out and uh, uh, he paid for labor. I uh, was going to take this to a fabricator but actually when I got it in it was fairly easy to make right. Um, so I went ahead and welded most of it up uh, myself um, once I was able to ensure fit. And I also had to cut out some of these uh, floor tubes and have them welded. Uh, basically my floor was very was not flat at all. It was about a half inch out of flat. Um, it wasn't very true from you know this side to you know from the farthest driver side to farthest passenger side. So uh, that had to get kind of remodified and some of the tubes redone there. Um, basically bending them to get them in line and then welding this section in while it was on a jig to make everything true and flat. Um, so basically this whole thing had to be welded in as well as the seat belt braces on both sides. Uh, the e-brake cable holder. Also, while we're back here, I'll show you these these mounts here are welded in. These are for the rear bodywork. Um, those mounts were welded in as before, or as well, uh, front and in the rear there. Also, one other thing I'll show you real quick. Let me grab the camera here. Normally, there's just these two floor tubes uh, that your seat mounts to. I also welded in, you know, this is for the, the submarining uh, belt. Uh, mounting point. It's way too far forward as the seat only comes to like here and the hole in the seat's actually about here. So I welded another tab back here. Uh, basically the same tab just uh, welded farther back. Um, and then also um, this front tube here. I took a piece of one by two and I actually welded a whole other brace in here 
Uh, basically, the reasoning for that is this is something so when you're going to step in the car, it's something that you can put your foot on and step on rather than stepping on the aluminum floor. And as you can see, there's a you know couple foot gap here, so there's a lot of looseness in the aluminum. Uh, this is just another mounting location for that aluminum to go to. In the rear here, um, these are the rear parts of the rear bodywork tabs that I mounted. Um, I went ahead and welded these on as well. And then under each of the four uh, gas tank uh, mounts, I went ahead and put an eighth inch. These are just, I mean, thin, I don't even know what gauge, but 16, 18 gauge sheet metal. And everyone I've seen that have had these um, stock way after a couple years are just bent up and broken and mangled from the weight of the fuel tank and the fuel sloshing around. So I went ahead and put a piece of, uh, it was eight or three sixteen inch flat bar underneath these that I cut and then welded them to these tabs and then to the to the tube as well. So it's much more secure. I mean, there's no flex at all in these. They're, they're very, very solid. And so I think that'll get, make this a lot, um, a lot more solid uh, for the fuel tank in the future. Uh, it's something that I thought was really necessary to do no matter what on this, um, if you weren't gonna do a fuel cell and, and uh, weld in brackets all across the top here and make a cage like a lot of guys have have done. So that's another thing that I did there too. This guy that I forgot about here. Uh, this here is a mount that I welded in for my fuel lines. Basically my, my two braided fuel lines come up to here and then they transfer just to fuel injection hose up here. Uh, but um, these braided fuel lines run to here and then um, basically transition. I wanted a mounting point coming up off that frame, off the lower frame rail where they are. Actually, excuse me, they're on the, the power plant frame and then they come out and this is the point where they attach to the frame and then go up to the uh, uh, fuel, fuel rail from there. So this tab also was welded in there. The last little guy here, but this is a tab for the um, gauge pod. Uh, it really just connects at the front two points here, and it's really unstable. Um, enough that it would probably hold, but in, at speed it would flap a lot. So I basically welded this tab on here and then uh, drilled a hole through the uh, back of the fiberglass gauge pod, and that allows a third attachment point for that hood. And that keeps it much more stable. It really... Um, actually really made a quite a bit quite a bit of difference i was rather surprised so uh, that's one last thing that i did there so i think that about sums it up nothing nothing special there i just wanted to show you guys the points that i had welded on the car the different brackets and attachments some of the modifications that i made to the frame before i sent it off the powder coating so just wanted you guys to see that real quick uh, like i said Nothing fancy, just hopefully give you guys a list of things that you can do to your frame before getting it to powder coat uh, that are probably a good thing to put those on if you can do a little bit of welding. Uh, it'll just make the car look a lot cleaner and a lot nicer finished look. So anyways, tomorrow this sucker gets off to powder coater. Uh, hopefully uh, in a week or two it'll be back and looking beautiful and I'll do another video then. Uh, please like down below or hit subscribe. Appreciate it guys. See you next time.